this is calculus again so let's do this question number a the first one is simple algebra we have been given a question and all we have to do is simplify this so let's simplify this this is 3 minus square root of x whole squared divided by square root of x and we have to write it down like this so this is actually in the part of third third means any question dealing with square root so let's break this down a minus b whole squared is a squared minus 2ab plus b squared and we have divided by square root of x so a squared 3 squared is 9 minus 2 3 is 6 6 square root x square root x means x to the power half plus square root of x whole squared means power power above power half into 2 is 1 so this would be x to the power 1 divided by this is going to be x to the power half so 9 divided by x to the power half minus 6 x to the power half divided by x to the power half plus x divided by x to the power half let me do it here so it's going to be 9 if you bring x to the power half upstairs it would be x to the power minus half minus you can cancel this to half minus half is 0 x to the power 0 is 1 so this becomes 6 plus now x to the power 1 divided by x to the power half when we have division in indices the power is subtracted so 1 minus half is going to be half so x to the power half so we have shown this so this is shown now question number b is integration so remember whenever we have from dy by dx find y this is integration in every c1 exam there will be a question like that so we have dy by dx equals to uh, now this is the expression instead of this we can easily write what we just showed because this sum is connected it's always an easier thing if we follow their advice and how they are telling us to do so instead of this we are writing this what we just showed so therefore y is going to be the integration the fundamental rule of integration says that uh, integration is the opposite of differentiation so dx so it's going to be 9 so x to the power minus half plus 1 divided by minus half plus 1 minus 6 is going to be 6x plus x to the power half is going to be half plus 1 divided by half plus 1 and there is a plus c don't forget the plus c of indefinite integrals so what we have to do now is we have to write 9 x to the power 1 minus half is half divided by half minus 6x plus x to the power half plus 1 is 3 by 2 so x to the power 3 by 2 divided by 3 by 2 plus c so 9 divided by half is going to be 18 x to the power half minus 6x plus 1 by 3 by 2 is 2 by 3 x to the power 3 by 2 plus c now the sum is not done yet remember uh, we found this as y but we have a plus c now unless we find the value of plus c it is incomplete so for that they have given us two values of x and y x equals to 2 by 3 y equals to 2 by 3 when x equals to 1 so let's put that value here let me move on to this side a bit so let me do it here of course this is no way of doing the sum in the exam hall in the exam hall do it below vertically one after the another I'm doing this for lack of space so when x equals to 1 y equals to 2 by 3 that information is given so let's put the value so in y I'm putting 2 by 3 equals to 18 I am putting in x 1 so 1 to the power half minus 6 into 1 plus 2 by 3 x not x uh, 1 to the power 3 by 2 plus c so this is going to be 2 by 3 remember anything 1 to the power anything is 1 so this is going to be 18 6 into 1 is going to be 6 and this is going to be 1 to the power 3 by 2 is 1 so 2 by 3 so what we have is this let's bring everything to the other side so 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 18 minus 6 is 12 plus c so this thing cancels and becomes 0 therefore c equals to minus 12 that's what we get now we can write down the answer so y equals to 18 x to the power half minus 6x plus 2 by 3 x to the power 3 by 2 plus c means minus 12 so this sum is done let's move on to the next one 
okay this is a coordinate geometry sum <laughs> I hear that people have a problem doing coordinate geometry sum but remember it is the most straightforward sum in every coordinate geometry sum your job is to find the equation of the line equation of the line means when you have a line when you have a point given x1 y1 let me put it on the line and when you have a gradient the equation of the line is y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1 so that's it there's no question and there's the gradient rule remember gradient rule is that uh, if you have two lines parallel for parallel lines the gradients are equal for normal lines one gradient is the negative reciprocal of the other gradient so that's it that that's all you have to do so anyway in this particular sum we don't have to worry about that this is even simpler than that if we have a line l1 let me just draw it to show you what it looks like passes through the point 9 minus 4 and it has a gradient of 1 by 3 all you have to do is find the equation of that line always coordinate geometry means equation of the line let's do this uh, 1 uh, minus y1 is going to be y minus minus 4 so y plus 4 gradient is 1 by 3 x minus 9 so let's simplify 3y plus 12 equals to x minus 9 this would be 3y equals to x minus 12 minus 9 is going to be minus 21 now the sum is not done yet they have mentioned to write down the answer in a special format where x y and then a constant comes so we can write therefore x minus 3y minus 21 equals to 0 that's it that's the equation format let's move on to question number b question number b they're talking about another line line l2 always remember here we have to find the equation of a line so l2 let's talk about l2 as a line like this so this is l2 and it passes through the origin so that means 0 0 and it has a gradient of minus 2 so m equals to minus 2 that means it is falling so let's find the equation uh, equation of l2 maybe we should have written equation of l1 here then it will be easier for the examiners to check okay so this is going to be y minus 0 equals to m is minus 2 and x minus 0 so that makes it y equals to minus twice x okay now that sum is not done yet they told us to find the point of intersection between l1 and l2 whenever they say the word intersect it means you have to find the simultaneous equation you have to solve it and find the point of intersection so it means if this is l1 and this is l2 l1 and this is l2 then their point of intersection is going to be p so so we can write x minus 3y minus 21 equals to 0 is equation 1 and y equals to minus 2x is equation 2 so all we can do is put the first value into the second value hence I'm putting this y equals to minus 2x in the first question hence putting y we get x minus 3 instead of y I'm writing minus 2x and we have minus 21 equals to 0 that means x plus 6x minus 21 equals to 0 that means 7x equals to 21 therefore x equals to 3 so when x equals to 3 we can easily find the value of y so when x equals to 3 y equals 2 we know minus 2x so minus 2 x is 3 that means minus 6 so the coordinates of p is 3 comma minus 6 we found it now the final one in the final question we have to find the first of all the line l1 cuts the y-axis at the point c okay so l1 has this equation so at y-axis x equals to 0 remember if you put it in L1 because L1 is cutting the y-axis so it will be 0 minus 3y minus 21 equals to 0 that means minus 3y will be equal to 21 therefore y will be minus 7 now since y will be minus 7 the point C will be cutting the y-axis it will be 0 minus 7 now we have to find the area of OCP it's always helpful to draw a little diagram now if you have this 
this is the x-axis this is the origin this is the y-axis so if this is O 0 0 so the C point would be somewhere around here which would be minus 7 y-axis it cuts at minus 7 now P is the point of intersection between L1 and L2 so this is P and we just found that out that P has coordinates 3 and minus 6 that means the x coordinate of P is 3 now for finding the area of triangle OCP it will be half into base now base of this triangle is 0 to minus 7 so this length would be 7 now height height is this one so from this x-axis to this point is 3 units so this would be 3 so half into base into height remember length cannot be negative we are taking the positive value so 3 7 is 21 divided by 2 so the area is going to be 21 by 2